Hi, everybody. My name is Tom Emmerich, and I'm the VP of product at 8th Wall. At 8th Wall, we're making reality content for everyone. And we're doing this by equipping developers, brands, and organizations with the tools that they need to develop augmented reality and virtual reality for the web, or what's known as Web AR and Web VR. No app required. Just click a link, and you're in. Our AR engine enables world tracking augmented reality or placing 3D objects in space, image target augmented reality or triggering AR from a poster or book cover, for example, and face effects such as face filters and face paint. Our technology has been used by countless brands and organizations to power commercial projects across industries, including the retail industry. And that's why I'm extremely excited to be talking to you today about the massive opportunity that is augmented reality in the retail sector. But first, let's play a game, shall we? What do you think this term digital means? Would you say that it describes the latest TikTok dance challenge or the newest exercise fad? Or does it describe how technology can be used to make the digital feel more physical and the physical feel more digital? Well, if you said the latter, you're absolutely right. And retail sector, Let's get digital, and augmented reality is going to make this happen. Now, the retail industry is changing. More and more shoppers are headed online, which is dramatically decreasing the traffic to brick and mortar. We have a pandemic, which is causing more and more shoppers to go online because brick and mortar retail may not be open. And as Generation Z and millennials become the predominant consumer, they have different shopping behavior, which is prioritizing their wallet spend on experiences over material goods. Now, all of this comes with its own challenges, which need to be tackled in an online and brick and mortar retail strategy. Online shopping, for example, often sees dramatic returns because a user is not really able to get the full gist of the product online via 2D images and video. Products that either come to the door or that are in store and don't have staff around really aren't equipped to sell themselves outside of the little information that's on the product packaging itself. The online experience really pales in comparison to the brick and mortar experience of going to a boutique or a mall. And the brick and mortar experience is being asked to be more of an experiential destination. And augmented reality can re really help solve for all of this. And I believe that augmented reality is the key to save retail. Why? Because AR can make the online shopping experience feel physical. Augmented reality can bring the store to you. Augmented reality turns your product into a salesperson. And augmented reality transforms the store into an experiential destination. And let me show you how, because this is already happening. And we're going to start with how augmented reality makes the online shopping experience feel physical. And the first thing I want to talk about here is virtual try-on. Using the front-facing camera, face filters, or face effects can allow for your consumer to put things on, such as virtual sunglasses, virtual accessories like hats and jewelry, or even makeup applications. But they can also turn their camera around and use the rear-facing camera for world tracking experiences to place 3D objects into space for product visualization. And this is what we're seeing here as an example from uh, MXR, the agency who created this Web AR campaign for Mulberry for their Iris handbag. Here, you can see that the user can place uh, a 3D handbag into their space, see it from all angles, also be able to choose the different colors they want to see it in, and even customize things like their handbag in order to help them make their purchasing decision. Augmented reality can also be used for product assistance, helping uh, the consumer, when they get the product at home, put together the product if necessary, or be able to set it up if it's an electronic, for example. All of this really helps to dramatically reduce returns from e-commerce. Uh, but in the case of virtual try-on and product visualization, it also increases the chance of conversion. Why? Because the user feels more confident that they know the product. And also, because they may have had the product on or in their environment, they feel as if they have more ownership over that product already. And let me show you a really great example of product visualization in e-commerce created for Intimacini, a lingerie brand by 72 and Sunny. This is a web AR example. Again, no app required.
augmented reality can also bring the store to you. And this is especially key in today's times. And this can be done using, again, world tracking augmented reality to place what's called a portal into the user space. That portal can be essentially anything that transports the user into a different environment. It could be a replica of your store where the user walks towards the portal and is able to then be able to experience your store, a replica of your store and the products on the shelves. Or in the case of this Jurgen Soul campaign created by Coffee Labs, uh, they have chosen to transport the user to a paradise, a beach scene, which really uh, echoes the campaign vibe for the Jurgen Soul line. Here, when the user walks towards the portal, they are transported to the beach. They're able to learn more about the product, and it really gets them into the right frame of mind to make that purchase. Augmented reality can also bring virtual models or even mannequins that you may see in your brick and mortar windows into the consumer's physical space that can get up and close with the product. They can walk around the product. They can see the product in action, how it flows, how it swings. Uh, anything that you would typically expect as a benefit from a runway show or a catwalk uh, within your physical destination can now be transported and brought into the consumer's home using augmented reality. And finally, augmented reality can facilitate a personal shopping experience where a multi-user augmented reality face effect, for example, could allow for a personal shopper to apply virtual makeup on a potential consumer to show them different applications. All of this really allowing for augmented reality to create a retail-like experience at home as part of your at-home strategy. So let me show you an example now, a WebAR example, uh, created by Hollow Me for Stuart Weitzman, which uh, is using holographic models or uh, virtual models to really show off their newest line of accessories. So here you are seeing how with just the click of a link, uh, the user is able to place virtual models into their environment, get up and close with the product itself, but also see how that product looks um, with uh, you know, other elements um, and also just on another person. Uh, again, really up, 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 up close and personal and making the user feel entirely more confident about what that product looks like, um, not just because they were able to see it in more detail, but also because they're able to better visualize it in action. AR can also turn products into salespeople. Uh, one of the best ways they can do this is to allow for that product packaging to come to life with a video or animation to tell a story. Now that story can be just simply describing the product, telling the consumer about the product history, or it can be more entertaining as we're seeing here uh, from Johnny Walker, uh, partnered with Game of Thrones uh, in a campaign created by Unit 9 and Analog Folk, where in scanning the bottle, uh, that bottle triggers a Game of Thrones inspired experience, the dire wolf and the dragon uh, being uh, in action around the product itself. Not only does this get the, the consumer excited, of course, because they may be a Game of Thrones fan, uh, but it also creates a viral opportunity to snap and share what's going on, uh, creating a marketing effect for your product. Augmented reality can also be used to help the consumer visualize what's inside the box. This may be especially key for a product that comes in multiple pieces, like a puzzle or a toy. Uh, there, in scanning a QR code on the outside of the box, uh, you can uh, bring up a 3D animation, um, which uh, the user can watch or maybe even interact with to help them better understand what the product is inside of that packaging. And finally, you could even turn your packaging into interactive games, like the back of a cereal box into a video game, for example, um, which really increases the relationship of the consumer with that product, increasing the dwell time and the engagement with that product, where otherwise uh, the packaging would, would just be used for basic information. All of this is giving your packaging a voice so that it can better be a sales tool by telling stories and providing information to the consumer. And let me show you an example now um, created by Unit 9 for Nike in helping Nike turn their shoeboxes into a vehicle to tell the story about their commitment to sustainability.
Next, AR transforms stores into an experiential destination. Uh, it can turn a store into an AR scavenger hunt, uh, allowing for the consumer to better get acquainted with your store or different products that are within the scavenger hunt, gamifying the purchasing journey. It can bring signage and merchandising to life, as we're seeing here with Finish Line uh, and their campaign with Adidas, created by 144 and Happy Lucky, where uh, the signage comes to life in a very futuristic fashion. Uh, or it can even turn an empty space into an, an AR activated environment where you don't need to have anything in the space at all, except for QR codes where a user would scan that uh, and see 3D products or animations or videos uh, that can help be the store itself. All of this is really uh, very geo-targeted. It may be tied just to your location, which is really going to be quite compelling to convince people to come to your location at a specific uh, time, perhaps, uh, turning your store into an experiential destination, giving new reasons for your consumers to get to that physical location. And here's a really great example of that created by Trigger, the mixed reality agency for Lego. Uh, where uh, the consumer was presented with a QR code on signage to scan, as this is a web AR experience. They were brought to the website, and they were asked to go on a ghost hunt. And this ghost hunt then asked them to go around the store, capture a series of ghosts, and the reward, once they captured all their ghosts, was to be able to play with the Lego Hit Inside playset. Of course, this is a fantastic example of gamifying the purchasing journey, which ended with a reward that dramatically increases the conversion chance to purchase. So there you have it, folks. That's how augmented reality is going to save retail. Augmented reality makes the online shopping experience feel physical. Augmented reality brings the store to you. Augmented reality turns product into salespeople and augmented reality transforms stores into an experiential destination. I'm Tom Emmerich. Thank you for having me. And if you have any questions, reach me at these details. Have a great day.